Automated flight technology can guide an aircraft very reliably from navigation to landing. Yet this technology, even when functioning correctly, is not a perfect safeguard against human error. Which one of the following, if true, most helps to explain the situation described above? And the situation is, hey look, this automatic, this automated flight technology, it can guide an aircraft very reliably, navigation to landing, yet it cannot, even when functioning correctly, it is not a perfect safeguard against human error. All right, so which one of these most helps explain the situation? Automated flight technology does not always function correctly. No, that would explain why there's errors, why, why automated flight technology doesn't always guide an aircraft, but it doesn't explain anything about why it's not a perfect safeguard against human error. Remember, human error is, is what we seem to be worried about. So we don't wanna, we're not concerned with that, at least in this state of affairs right over here. B, smaller aircraft do not always have their automated flight technology updated regularly. Once again, now it's talking about smaller aircraft, while up here we're talking about automated flight technology generally. And then it's talking about not having the flight technology updated regularly, but this doesn't touch on why there's still, it will be some human error, why there's, it's not a perfect safeguard against human error. If a plane's automated flight technology malfunctions, Crew members have to operate the plane manually. Well, this actually reverses it. This is actually an explanation. This, this, this is actually saying how humans can help errors with the automated flight technology. It's not talking about why automated te flight technology is not a perfect safeguard against human error. It's not talking about human error right here. D. Some airplanes crash. Some airplane crashes are due neither to human error nor to malfunction nor to malfunctions of automated flight technology, or malfunction of automated flight technology. Well, this once again does not talk about this issue of safeguards against human errors. They're talking about that some crashes are not due to the technology or the humans. So this doesn't touch there. I hope E is the answer, because I ruled out the first four. All right, automated flight technology invariably executes exactly the commands that humans give it. It's a good thing that this does indeed look like the answer. Because it's saying, look, at the end of the day, automated flight technologies are servants to the commands of the humans. And so if the humans make a human error, well then the, the, it's still not gonna, it's, it's not gonna be a safeguard against that. So I like that. And you, could even, you can even add this to the paragraph above. And actually the paragraph makes a little bit more complete sense. You get a better sense of why we're in the state of affairs. If I were to say automated flight technology can guide an aircraft very reliably from navigation to landing. However, automated flight technology invariably executes exactly the commands that humans give it. Therefore, this technology, even when functioning correctly, is not a perfect safeguard against human error. That sounds good. It's actually a more fleshed out argument, or not even an argument, a more fleshed out way of explaining why we're in the situation where automated flight technology does not eliminate the, the situation, is not a safeguard against human error.